land in search of many things and some leave with a permanent souvenir to remember their journey. For centuries, the Razouk family has given tattoos to visitors in Jerusalem's old city. CNN's Ian Lee has the story. Andrew Seropian got his first tattoo when he joined the U.S. Army. But this Armenian cross means the most for the veteran of Afghanistan. I was uh, seven meters from a rocket that blew up and no protection on it and I took the full blast. But I believe I could have been dead or missing an arm. I do believe I was protected and blessed by God. Seropian, like pilgrims before him, made one last stop before leaving the Holy Land. For 700 years, pilgrims sought out the Razouk family. When the ancestors started the tradition of the tattoo, and it was, of course, no electricity was available. It was uh, done by hand. The Christian tattooing has always been used as a certificate of pilgrimage. And the only way for people to prove and get a certificate or a stamp, sort of a stamp, um, that will last forever, that they've done the pilgrimage, is by actually getting tattooed. The tattooing technique originated in Egypt and evolved over the centuries, but the designs last through the ages. We are not only old school, we can say we are ancient school, you know, we have, uh, we have designs hundreds of years old. Wasim Razouk shows me one such design carved from wood blocks. For example, this one is about 500 years old. This actual block was specifically was used in 1669 to tattoo a pilgrim that has documented his pilgrimage. Pilgrims travel to the Holy Land in search of something. It could be adventure, inner peace, or God. This was a really emotional journey for me. Um, to renew my faith and this for me has become an external version of what I am now feeling inside and I feel that I have a renewed and, and newfound faith that I feel is more permanent. The holy ink almost dried up. Wasim initially had no interest in the family business. This is not a tradition and a heritage that is easy to let go of or I'm not going to be the one who's going to stop it or kill it. The mark of faith is secured for the next generation, as future pilgrims will seek out Wasim's son. Ian Lee, CNN, in Jerusalem's Old City. Rock legend Freddie Mercury is 